We're talking today to Professor Jose Augusto Guillón Albuquerque. We've spoken to him before about the Brazilian elections, and uh, Professor Guillón is and I are going to chat for a little bit about the recent nominations by President Dilma Rousseff of a what looks like a new economic cabinet, uh, particularly the Minister of Finance, uh, Joaquim, Joaquim uh, Levy. Yeah. What do you say, uh, Guillaume? What is your opinion about these new um, nominations? Look, uh, her, her choice, uh, in a certain way, uh, reflects the kind of dilemma she is, uh, uh, she is in. Uh, because she, it's like a, taking a, a sort of a, if you appoint a Security Council head who is a, a pacifist, a hawk for the State Department, and a bureaucrat for the Defense Ministry, you see? And then uh, she, she, she has different uh, lines of uh, economic policy she, she can pick anyway. Uh, uh, the problem is that she has to uh, uh, to achieve some kind of growth you know, the, uh, before the elections of 1918. And, but to do so, she has to achieve a sort of austerity program and good governance. But she cannot find support in her own party and her large coalition to uh, adopt this kind of, of program. So she's in a... Um a bind. She's in a uh, um, a uh, confrontation with reality here. How is she going to manage this? This is difficult. Uh, austerity for her political base will not be very congenial. Yes, but the problem is that uh, her uh, her uh, coalition is a little bit different, but not so so different from her previous coalition. But the difference is that. They don't fear her. They don't fear PT, and don't, they don't fear Lula anymore. And then here they think she is weak, and she has to do everything that uh, the Congress will demand her. Uh, and uh, this is a, a very uh, difficult situation. The last uh, uh, vote on the on the Congress, uh, the PT, uh, one out of four. PT representatives or uh, senators uh, have, have didn't participate in this crucial uh, debate for her because she's facing uh, uh, a, a sort of indictment because she didn't accomplish uh, the balance of the, the budget. And there is a law forcing her to have some, some kind of surplus in order to pay to service the, the, the debt. She didn't do that. And then she she uh, she asked the Congress to uh, free her from this obligation, uh, and in this crucial uh, debate, uh, one out of uh, four uh, members of her, go uh, her party didn't vote, didn't participate, and there was a very narrow victory. So she has a very uh, difficult road ahead. She's appointed this man. Is it true, the rumors that appear in the international press, that Levy is a uh, suggestion made by uh, Fraga, who was the consultant to Nevis, the man they ju she just beat? Is that, is that true? He is uh, a very uh, orthodox uh, economist, very differently from, from uh, Tombini. He's a, a technocrat, he's a good one, uh, but... Uh, during uh, Dilma's uh, government, the, f the last two years before the elections, he did pretty much what she told him to do. Uh, and uh, Barbosa, uh, he's uh, more or less, he doesn't have very strong links with PT, but uh, he's a developmentalist, you know. He's, yeah. uh, in fact, he favors uh, state intervention, he favors uh, subsidizing the industry, etc., etc. So, uh this is a mixed group, uh, represents not yes. pure orthodox economics. a sort economics. of a paradoxical mix. Yeah, so she, it's a kind of yes. compromise she seems to have made in order to get the economy going again. Yeah, and when she appointed uh, Levy, she announced the appointment of Levy, uh, <clears throat> the, the most, uh, uh, the most uh, uh, important, influent uh, uh, academic and intellectual 
an artist in the PT uh, wrote a sort of manifesto against the new police policy, economic policy that was uh, announcing. And this is this means that they had given arguments for the PT to, to fight her policies. So the months ahead should be, as the Chinese say, a very interesting period. Very, very, very much so. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll uh, let's be optimistic and we'll look forward to chatting again in a few months to see how Dilma's new economic sub-cabinet is working out to get the, the economy okay. moving. Professor okay. Jose Augusto Guillon Albuquerque, thank you very much, and we look forward to talking with you again.